What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. Hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. If you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked just so I know you did it and let's jump into it all right drivers and dashers got another email here for you to go over and it comes from E so everyone say hey E so he goes um, I did some Walmart deliveries and my breaking point was a third floor apartment of a bunch of cases of water and Gatorade which started as a five dollar delivery like one something miles which they presumed was a gate that was unlocked, which frequently wasn't, which caused you to drive an additional three miles to go around to the other entrance of the apartment complex. DoorDash support gave me an additional $3, but I did write DoorDash an email saying that I wouldn't be taking any more Walmart offers unless something changed about notifications and compensation of heavy items and heights, floors to climb and even not being able to see the map of where the delivery was going to. I think Walmart took me off their list because within a few months of that and discussing with Walmart employees who did the, uh, did the goods, brought out the goods, I didn't get any more Walmart. Really things like heavy rain, dark fog, and dangerous traffic should be premiums considered for compensation, but aren't to my knowledge. Nice channel, keep up the good work, E. So to uh, E over here, uh, yeah, totally understand your frustration, okay? A lot of people, not just yourself, have basically said, uh, you know, absolutely not to Walmart orders anymore, okay? Walmart orders are getting the big boot from a lot of dashers out there. You know, I got to say for one, this is one of the only reasons why I am extremely grateful we do not have a Walmart in the radius of where I live. We used to, but it closed up. It was in the city area, uh, and it was not a good one. It was very crammed. It, it was extremely messy. It wasn't good. Um, but yeah, at least at least then I know that if I'm on DoorDash, I'm not going to be berated by Walmart orders like a lot of other dashers are. So, with this being said, it's interesting how you said you think that they took you off the list or like banned you from getting DoorDash offers because, uh, you know, you said that you're not getting them anymore, which I find really interesting. Maybe the fact that you reached out to DoorDash in an email and said, I'm really disappointed with this. I don't want to deal with these types of orders. Perhaps maybe they banned it from your account so that it doesn't dispatch those orders to you anymore. So, this could be something here that holds water that maybe if you reach out, they can do this. Now, Grubhub for years has had this ability uh, of being quote unquote banned from a restaurant. Uh, I had to do this one time with uh, an Indian restaurant that amazing food. They have great food, but the problem was it would take like 45 minutes for those orders and you know sometimes it would be a no tip order and it just wasn't worth it so i remember i reached out to grubhub customer and driver care and i said is there any way that i could have it so that i don't get any offers from this particular restaurant anymore and they said well we can ban the restaurant from your account i said yeah absolutely and they did it and within 24 to 48 hours, I was not receiving offers from that Indian restaurant anymore. And I used to get them like constantly. So perhaps this might be a way to say no more to these Walmart orders. Maybe you guys have to reach out to DoorDash, send an email like this uh, driver did and uh, have it removed or banned from your account. Again, I cannot say 100% confirm that this works. Um, but what I can say is you can at least try. So drivers, dashers, everyone out there, I'm just curious. Um, what, what is, what are your feelings on DoorDash orders with Walmart? Do you like them? Do you not? Uh, do you make good payouts on them? Do you get really low payouts? I mean, 
those are a lot of those three dollar orders those the two three four five dollar orders are a lot of those walmart ones with no tips so we got to talk about this load up the chat load up the comments section we definitely got to discuss this. And of course, if you ever have anything you want to share with me, a comment, a question, a topic, a story, an article, whatever it is, be sure to send it to me at paid to drive stories at gmail.com. Also, for a quicker response, you guys can always reach out and message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. And anyone who signs up as a patron as my way of saying thank you is I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. And as you can see, there are all the names right here on your screen of our current patrons as of the current moment of this video being made. So huge shout outs to all of them. If you guys want to sign up, links are down below. As I mentioned, who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it will be you. And of course, I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas using the free gas app called Get Upside. The link is in the description down below. Just scroll down this page and click on the link that says get the free gas app. It's very simple to use. It'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device that you have. And then from that point, all you got to do is go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it today. And finally, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, visit paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description, and you guessed it, the pin top comment down below. We've got lots of great new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day at paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description down below. And the pin top comment. And of course, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful for all of you. Let me know by leaving a comment in the chat or the comment section below saying end 100, E-N-D 100. Just lets me know you did it. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. Just lets me know. You enjoyed the video and it lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked L I K E D just so I know you did it. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on paid to drive and paid to drive logs. And as always drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.